Mark does not allow me to bend. <laughs> this, of course, is sports extravaganza. We make it extra in everything that we do. Welcome to this live show here on TV47 every Saturday, 4 to 7. Nothing but the best in the world of sports. My name is Tony Kualanda, your technical bench technician who moves from one area to the other. And of course, Nikona DJ, DJ, it's good to see you. Jitambulisho, <laughs> jitambulisho. Piga kitambulisho. Piga kitambulisho kama sewa extravaganza. Piga kitambulisho. <laughs> Naitua DJ K, fan kubwa sana wa Team Chelsea. <laughs> kama mimi. Two Chelsea votes in the house. Hawa wengine ni others. <laughs> Karibu sana DJ K, hapa ibu nasa mitu. Nashukuru, kaka. We mix sports, we make sports musical, and of course we give you entertainment and give you the best content that you can get in East and Central Africa, even to Nafanya. Now, just before I introduce uh, my other very coolest uh, people in the show, Naab, for the very first time, I have seen a president in East Africa doing press-ups. And of course, is our video of the day. Nick, tell us your video. <laughs> and of course, remember, um, I'll be showing you that clip in a bit. Nambiwa tina chemuka ina iva, ina pikwa tie, ina pajwa bota ya black na green. And uh, of course, ikondani pale. This clip, of course, uh, is making rounds on social media. And uh, it's our very own president, the doctor himself, William. I used to call him Billy when I used to do my political satire pieces. And apparently, I've seen the humorous part of this president. He just makes everything easy he just gets everything must be very might, might be looking very hard but it just keeps things look so nice take a look at this video of the day Oja, Billy, Tisa, Kuminatano, Asadi, Mokofiko, Captain, Wetu, Moja, Captain, Dr. William, Samuel, Dr. Yoga! William, somewhere Dr. Uh, the president has done that, those press-ups. I want to do press-ups differently. I want to see uh, President William Ruto, I want to challenge you in State House if you can do these press-ups. Pray for me, uh, analyst. Play, pray for me. <laughs> pray for me. Hey, but then at Temeka. Alifanya tu moja kamaliza. Hey, I didn't know I could do that. But now, uh, that, uh, that particular clip leads us to the question of the day. And on this show, we are giving away 500 shillings to 12 winners. Let me repeat that again. We are giving away shillingi miatano to 12 of you. 500 shillings to 12 of you. Puliski wapi. This is the question I'm asking you. Which footballer can President William Ruto be, and why? And it's the chance of winning yourself 500 Kenya shillings, 12 of you. And this is how you're going to do it, yeah? You're going to call in, you're going to WhatsApp us, you're going to text us, you're going to X us, you're going to Insta us, you're going to Facebook us. However, the biggest one <laughs> is for you to send us a short clip, 20 seconds or 30 telling us that footballer, what the president can be, and give us a good reason. Send in many clips as possible, as many as you can, and it's a chance of winning yourself 500 Kenya shillings be amongst the 12 winners. Which footballer can the president, William Ruto, be, and why? Send in that WhatsApp video clip, 20 seconds. Of course, always you know how to start it. Start with the word sports extravaganza in your clip. Tell us your name, where you're watching this show from, Give us the answer and tell us why. And win 500 bob. Just like that. Hivo na tunafanyangi maneno hapa kwa sports extravaganza every Saturday uh, when you join us. Of course, I'm not doing this show alone. I'll also be asking my, uh, my uh, special team of analysts. I'll start with the lady Celine Waizira. Karibu sana. It's a pleasure to see you on this uh, beautiful uh, match. It's a month we give special dedication to ladies. Yes, especially those who like Nigerian men. 
so we appreciate you for being here. Uh, <laughs> also on this show, I have my very good friend Dantos Sibola, one of course a journalist as well as uh, one of top uh, analysts that we have in the country. I'm a co-hapa, you co-hapa, and I'm a hapa And then of course, uh, my very good friend, I'm meeting for the very first time in studio. Uh, he is an investor in sports. <laughs> He's also a huge lover of football in and out of the country and also a big sports analyst, Joseph Kurias. Good to see you. Thank you so much. Karibu sana na mevasha ya Mbappe because Mbappe was called by the president of France to not leave PSG. Tatuambia kwa nini mevaha yu shati? Yes, na ikona kuku. Ikona kuku kwa yochest yake na mimi ni mluya. Don't tempt us like that, my brother, man. On my show. Karibu ni sana, Joseph, Celine, as well as Dantos. That, of course, keep on sending. Remember, you have, you have a chance to call us as many times as you can. Took on a DJ K Yapa. If you want to call and just send a clip and ask to be played whichever music you want to, DJ K Yapa, Kaka Kakaziake, Sita Kwat Nakapa, to Skizen Gomu may request. So, but of course, as we get into this, I want to take you deep into these things. Yes, now, yesterday night, uh, producer Nick, director Ntaka Niketi Yama Nisamame, Nick on a Kierere, Mtanisamea. And of course, we start with the. Um, how the sports of the year, uh, personality of the year awards were held yesterday, that is Sawyer. And um, of course, we'll be looking at how uh, the event went on. We have some clips of the, the fanfare, the, you know, the, the thrills, yeah, the beauty, everything that went underway at the Kenyatta International Convention Center yesterday. And of course, by now you know that uh, Faith Kipie Gorn, that record holder and world champion, um, were fettered yesterday was the sportswoman of the year. And of course, uh, uh, the late Kelvin Kiptum, the record holder in marathon, was posthumously, posthumously uh, awarded uh, his, as the sportsman of the year. So this is how the event went underway. Uh, everybody looked beautiful. Everybody was awarded from the young to the old to the middle-aged. Uh, it was just me who was in the, uh, in the gallery or in the, how do you call it? I was on stage with Kochini Nikikula too because I just gone there to eat. Now, of course, this is where I, I'll bring in, um, I'm sure my panelists also watch this. I'll just throw in this. Uh, of course, ladies first. It's the month for ladies. Uh, Celine, I'm sure you're very happy to see ladies winning uh, or emerging top in this kind of awards because to make what to get to your boy child, but now ladies are also winning. And you see from girls to very uh, mature women in sports. See, you look fresh and any month you aim with this, isn't Yeah, I think Kipiago yearned for that. He, yeah. She worked for that. Yeah. We saw her performing really well last year in yeah. the marathons, yeah. and he, she was keeping records. And then Kip Tum, may he saw rest in peace. Yes. Uh, I think he will, he's proud where he is yeah. right now, winning that men's of the year, uh, it, was, it was a good thing. Indeed. Yeah. But women winning, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm really happy. I hope Keep Your Gone con continues with, with the same winning streak even this year. Yeah. yeah. Indeed, of course. The Dantos as well, you saw it. Um, I'm sure your team was there. Rugby, Cabras, your people from home winning the men's team of the year. I'm sure that's something that you really... Uli uh, pigia watu simu kukasema any anyway, congratulations to all the winners yes. that won yesterday. Something that stood out to me is uh, the way athletics want to keep talent by awarding even the, the school children, which was a very good thing. And that's the thing that stood out yesterday night. And congratulations to Faith Kipiego. Uh, and he'll continue doing it. And also to keep Tum for winning in absentia. May his soul rest in peace. And to all the winners. And let's... What I'll say about uh, these awards, let's respect the awards. If it's a red tie, let it be a red tie. Watch it come out of What was the other jeans? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's official. Let it be official. No, no, no. Come on. In Europe, we don't have any. We they respect the awards. Even Kenya, let's respect the awards. Let's respect the, the, red, the red carpet, the way the CS leads in, 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 with, a, with an example. Udona. Yes. I think that, but all in all, it was a very good uh, award. I was not there, but Leona Lili Kona for Tilly Online. Yes. It was a very nice award. Indeed. Yes. Uh, Joseph, of course, you saw, I, there's a story of a very, um, there's a driver who is a coach uh, of a school. And uh, also, he's a, I'm just looking for his name. He's called somebody Muresia. 
of uh, Namwale, uh, the coach, apparently who drives the students. He is also a coach and won the coach of the year award. And these kind of stories are very motivating. And you can imagine him being recognized in this, this kind of stages, uh, Joseph. It's something, of course, um, people back at his home are definitely uh, uh, calling for a homecoming for him. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, uh, motivating the young talent, uh, being able, you, you see, driving them and also winning, uh, coaching them and winning the coach of the year. I think it's, it's good motivation. It shows that uh, the elderly, all the elder people can take, uh, can take um, um, the young to greater heights. Indeed. And of course, uh, congratulations to all the winners. I keep to him in, um, may, uh, may he rest in peace. Yes. Uh, definitely Faith keeping on, keeping records in 1500 meters, 5000 meters. And I think uh, there was a race in Indo that uh, she uh, broke the record as well. So, I mean, uh, for those who did not win, I mean, uh, it's, not, it's not like they lost because they were among the best. Yes. Yeah. Uh, of course, that's indeed true. Uh, the sports awards are very important to uh, to give these youngsters that are upcoming and those, of course, motivation to continue. Um, there was a clip of Faith Kipiagon. Uh, we'll uh, inquire if we have that particular clip where Faith Kipiagon did not receive the award personally because she is, of course, preparing and training for events that are upcoming. But she was able to send a clip of herself. Uh, you know, uh, uh, accepting uh, the award as a Sportswoman of the Year award. Um, are we able to listen to what Faith Kipiagon was able to share with us? But above all, uh, I'm so grateful and honored to be awarded um, this award for the third time in a row uh, as Sports uh, Personality of the Year. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to Soya, sponsors, organizers, and who contributed in one way or another. Uh, I want to say a big thank you. And uh, to all that list, I want to wish you a great and beautiful 2024 uh, Olympic year. Asante Sana for this trophy, and uh, God bless you. Thank you. That's the sportswoman of the year. 2023. Uh, congratulations to Faith Kipiagon. Uh, I have to say this on national TV. When she was still uh, in her early 20s, I used to have a crush on her. But sasa nilichelewa kumuambia na mpenda. It happens. Amen. Mbona mnacheka bwana. Now, uh, let's of course uh, get into the Sportsman of the Year. This award uh, went to the late Kevin Kiptum. And uh, I understand the uncle was around there to speak this award. However, uh, let's listen in to uh, CS Sports and Ababu Namamba making that announcement. Winner. This is a tough one. This one goes to Kelvin Kipto. Positive. <laughs> Sportsman of the Year, Kevin. Ke now that was Kevin Kiptum. Uh, athletics uh, won the Sportsman of the Year award. Number two went to Daniel Simiu, also of Athletics, and uh, Emmanuel Wanyonyi. Those are the number one, two, three Sportsman of the Year uh, awards. Let's um, at this moment. Uh, let's just listen into uh, uh, the second placed uh, athlete who uh, won that particular. That Daniel Simiu who was number two in the Sportsman of the Year award. Actually, I feel very good. And I think given now the events are oppressing. It's amazing and I have nothing to say. I will just say that has been God all through. I can't complain. I'm happy, yeah. I think, I think it's just the it's just the whole year I've been good, the last year, 2023. And I can't say it is which race and which one. I think all my races are beautiful, even if I have lost in many words, they are beautiful. And I'm happy for this, for this award. And thank you again, the Soya people, for, for recognizing me. This shows that there is more in store for me. 
and this being my first ever trophy or my first ever award since I came to this planet. I think that's why I'm saying the heavens are happy. Yeah. Let me say that when time for Paris came, I think I will be well prepared. And let me not promise anything, but I had, I had you Kenyans to, to pray for, for us because it's not easy. And, but to me, I know that it's not easy, but with God, it will be possible. Now, D Daniel Simiu is uh, 28 years old, uh, was uh, uh, brought up in Baragoy. For those who know Baragoy, uh, with those kind of uh, incidences we face, in, that's in Samburu County, and lost, of course, his father early on when they were doing, uh, I mean, herding the cattle, or cattle, depending on which school you went to. So he's a specialist in 5,000 meters, 10,000 meters, uh, as a world champion uh, in those races, has shown in Budapest, Birmingham, uh, Port Louis, and Bathurst. So congratulations to him. Now, uh, let's get to, to listen to uh, Mary Mora, who was number three uh, behind, as, uh, that's Faith Kipiegon, that is in the Sportswoman of the Year Award. Uh, let's listen to Mori, uh, Mary Mora, who was number three. I can say this is a big achievement to me in this, uh, this year. I think uh, last year I was the nominee, but I was not in top three. But this year, God has uh, done wonders to me. I'm so happy and I'm uh, going to do the best. Maybe next year I'll be the, not the third, second, but maybe the first one. I can say for my preparation to Olympics this year, I'm going to do the best and I want to lower my time from 156.03 maybe to 154 to 155. That's what I can promise my fans and my fellow Kenyans. Let them continue supporting us, praying for us as athletes. Sometimes we face more, many challenges but we don't talk but we are strong. What I can tell them, let them wait for a big surprise this year. Yeah. So I can say for this year what I'm targeting is to finish in the podium. I can say all of us we are women. When you are in the starting point, it's when you say to learn. Uh, I can say if my target is to get a gold, a silver medal, I'm waiting for it in short. So what I can say, if I think we in a good shape, Bukili, me and uh, my fellow competitor, I'm going to work hard. I will not disappoint the Kenyans and my fans. That's what I can promise them. Kisi Express, that's Mary Mora, uh, was number three uh, behind uh, Faith Kipigoni, the Sportswoman of the Year, awarded in this uh, Sawyer. And she was also there available to pick up the, uh, the award on behalf of Faith Kipiegon. That is yesterday night. We are giving you this bit by bit because I know you might have missed it or you are sleeping or you are pigging Shere or you're watching football like me yesterday. Uh, I'll also just bring in, just before we get into the, our schools that were shining, um, uh, Joseph, you've had Mora saying that she's, uh, she's preparing us for some, uh, some fantastic scintillating extravaganza mm -hmm. this year mm -hmm. in the 800 meters. Of course, you've heard her. Mm -hmm. She's really gone against so many things until she, I mean, she has earned her name, Kisi Express. Yeah. So I, I think um, I'm very confident uh, in the Olympics uh, she'll, she'll uh, take something. Uh, looking at the World Championship, yes. uh, that, that is where I think after, after a while yes. we had not won uh, the 800 meters. But in the World Championship, uh, she, she broke the, uh, those um, hurdles. Yes. And I really expect her to do uh, quite well in the Olympics as well. So um, I have faith in her. They're very true indeed. Uh, Celine. This is what you're supposed to be, have been doing in, in, in <laughs> high school, but you chose to play bladder. You know, I'm actually proud of her. We have had Faith saying she, she has won the award three times back to back. Like we, we need someone to challenge her. <laughs> She's way too good. Like we need someone to challenge her. And I think if we get the legs of Mora, it's, they're going to challenge her because, you know, in as much as we want to see keep you going there time and time, year and year, we need to see new faces. Like she's position three. She has said she will work hard this year and maybe we'll see her maybe move to position two and then even do it overtake keep you going. But keep you going. She's good. She's good.
Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was when I was saying, Morad, at a free challenge, so we, we just have to get our cars ride to Kisi, look for another Mora. <laughs> okay, what, what I love about athletics is that nowadays, CRT, because Unatoka Rift, that you can run, I believe uh, in each and every maybe counties we have people who can run. Now, Mother Kusukeza, Tumona, Udaniel, Ametokeza, Alafu, Tumona, Pia, Sai, Mora, the Kisi guy, the Kisi lady, mm-hmm. sorry, the Kisi lady. Uh, making making Kisi proud as always. To Rebobe. Come on, it. Shabana and also. <laughs> Shabana, don't let down a Mora. Mora. Yes. Hey. Shabana, you must stay in the top flight league or else Munangusha <laughs> Mora. Uh, of course, moving on, I will also engage DJK later on because I know DJK did athletics. Um, Ile Akukimbilia lunch sa, 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 sa nane during, during his boarding school. <laughs> But well, let's get into the School of the Year awards in the girls category. Uh, number three went to Butere Girls. I used to have a girlfriend in Butere Girls because I was schooling in St. Lubinu, uh, which was about just 20 minutes walk to the girls' fence. <laughs> number two, uh, Nyamira Girls High School. And then number one in the Schools of the Year uh, uh, awards uh, went to Kwanzanze. So that's, of course, how uh, the awards uh, were in the school category. We were able to speak to the, <laughs> to the coach of Butere Girls. Um, so we'll be able to, uh, to listen to the coach of Butere Girls in a few and also the players and how they manage and how they've actually been uh, able to stay on top and be amongst the top three in the school category, School of the Year Awards. That we shall share with you in a bit. Remember on this show, we are winning 500 Kenya shillings. After this break, I'm awarding four winners of uh, 500 Kenya shillings. Uh, I will tell you how and uh, when and how you can actually get that money in a bit. We're going for a short break. We'll be back. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Now, this is how you're going to win it. Eh? We have this question and we're asking you, uh, who is this? Um, we're asking you, who can this uh, president of ours, which footballer does he represent? Who you, who you, who you president way to? Which footballer can he be? Please, you know how to do it. Go to WhatsApp, send a short clip of yourself giving me an answer. You know the drill. Start with the word sports extravaganza. Then get, of course, to your name. Give us where you're watching this show from. Give me an answer and tell me why. And 12 of you are winning 500 Kenya shillings. Let me also ask uh, my, uh, my, my, my director, Nick. Nick, there is uh, also that, uh, that number for Maybets. Which number is that? Is it 29? No, at a Joseph Akoapa. In Akoaga number, Gani, your number? Two nine zero zero ninety eight. 098 Now, just before so we go for break, uh, Jose ni mwekezaji, so ndo Jose just reminded me that as you're sending in those clips, as you're calling in live, as you're doing all those things, as you're answering that me, also send the word TV47 to the number 29098. Send the number, uh, the, the, the name TV47 to 29098 to increase your chances of winning yourself five. Kenya shillings. Four winners after this break.